Welcome back, bros, to another video review. And today, we have another figure from Wave 4, and we have the opportunity to take a look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Insecticon Bombshell. So for the contents, this is what we get inside. We get the figure himself, Bombshell, and then inside some tissue paper behind the packaging of the toy, we actually have three accessories, his gun, and his two hind insect legs, which attach on to his forearms. And not only that, an instruction manual, which is standard for all Transformer action figures. So here we are, zoomed in, taking a closer look at Insecticon Bombshell. And as you can see right here, Bombshell looks pretty darn screen accurate to me, in my opinion. As you can see, with the G1 cartoon comparison beside them, I don't have any complaints. There might be some few nitpicks, but it's okay. This toy looks great. I like the details on the head. Even though it is hard to see on camera, his eyes are painted red. He has a little gold painted on the top of, I would say, his, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a dome cap or whatever you call it above his head he also has a silver painted uh antennae that can also work as a gun on the top of his head he definitely has that painted yellow chest right there now i wish that yellow chest would have opened so like the g1 toy you could put like some energon cubes in there or you could put something in there but unfortunately it does not open but yes the figure is definitely molded out of that purple and black plastic and then it has some gray bits in there for his thighs, his forearms, and his hands. So overall, this figure looks very good. And I like the way it turned out. So here we are. Let's take a look of the articulation on this figure. Well, guys, I will be honest. It is standard what we get for all deluxes. But let's show it off anyway. So here we go. The arm rotates a full 360, as you can see. It goes up this high and it is restricted because of the bug arm right there. Uh, it definitely bends more than 90 as you can see. Um, the wrist does not have a swivel but hinges in and out due to transformation. Um, the figure does have a waist swivel as you can see. The leg kicks up this high. Um, it bends about 90 degrees. The foot is on a rocker. I don't know if you guys can see it coming off, but yes, it rocks down, um, not really up. So um, with that being said, if you move this piece back, his head can rotate left and right. Unfortunately, there is no up and down motion because of this piece right here. So I don't think it's on a ball joint. I think it's more on a mushroom peg. But all in all, I think this figure turned out great. And I like that now we have the Insecticons complete, guys. So this is uh, pretty darn cool in my book. So this is what you guys have been waiting for. We finally have the trio of the Insecticons complete here. And like I was telling you earlier, guys... Bombshell fits in with Scrapnel and Kickback. They all have that uniform translucent chest. Now, the only thing, just nitpicking, I don't know if you can see, is that each figure has a different type of Decepticon logo applied. Now, looking at Kickback, his looks to be like a... Um, as you would say, like a tampo, where it's like um, a detail ironed on or, or painted on or something like that. Now, that Decepticon symbol looks good, in my opinion. It is definitely bright, and you could make it out from far distances. Now, check out the Decepticon symbol right here on Bombshell. Now, that one is less prominent and visible but you can tell it's a decepticon symbol because we all know all decepticons have one somewhere on their body but yes i'm definitely disappointed that they didn't give it no type of um silver to pick it out to make it stand out more it's just that same color as his chest on that yellow plastic so it doesn't stand out very well 
and the details seem to get lost. Now, compare it to that one, which is Bombshell, compare it to Scrapnel's Decepticon symbol. Now, that one is a good um, Decepticon logo, but it's not as bright. Um, as you see with it being translucent plastic, the silver on that uh, Decepticon logo seems to get lost, but it's just enough to bring out the Decepticon eyes and the details in the Decepticon crest and so on. But all in all, guys, this is what we wanted, and this is what makes me excited. We finally have a whole team completed in one actual trilogy line, and I'm very satisfied they gave us that. I really hope they bring on the triple changers because they need some love and hopefully the pretenders. Um, yeah, so Hasbro, please bring on the pretenders and the triple changers if you are watching my video review. So here we are, guys, continuing the comparisons. As you can see right here, we have the deluxe size legacy Insecticons with now the legend size Insecticons, which came from the Transformers Thrilling 30 the Titans Return, and also Combiner Wars. As you see, the smaller size Insecticons do not compare to the now big deluxe size Decepticons because the deluxe size have the more accurate deco and definitely resemble more of the cartoon than the previous um, molds that we got in the Legend Size class line. Lastly, for comparisons, here I have the Insecticon Trio compared with some fellow Decepticons. And as you can see right here, you can see the various height differences when it comes to being a deluxe size scale, a Voyager size scale, and a leader class scale. Now, as you already know, Blitzwing is a leader class figure, but I feel like Blitzwing needs to be redone even as, an, as this figure is very impressive and works well, I think Blitzwing should actually be a commander size figure along with Astro Train. Because, be honest, with these figures being triple changers and, and, and actually the Decepticons uh, in a few episodes boarded Blitzwing and also Astro Train to go on various missions where it required them to be transported to the location. So I would love to see Blitzwing and Astro Train get redone because currently at this scale, I feel like they are out of whack. But all the other Decepticons look really good together and I like the way the Insecticons have turned out and especially Bombshell. So now it's time for transformation. So now that we have Insecticon Bombshell in his alt mode or insect mode, in other words, this is what we get. And I must say, he definitely looks accurate to the cartoon, not only to the cartoon, also to the Transformers, the movie. So yeah, let's look at the details on him. As I was telling you guys earlier, I'm sorry, there is a silver outlining on his Decepticon logo after all, now that I'm looking at it in a light a certain way, even though I said earlier there was not, I guess it wasn't very visible, 
because of my lighting, but yes, they had the painted on details right here on the hind um, back of the Insecticon. Then they have this part right here painted, looks good, that's gold. The eyes are yellow. And then we have a nice silver painted on the silver bit. So yes, it definitely looks good. And I like the way it turned out. So to jumpstart the comparisons, here I have Insecticon Bombshell with Insecticon Scrapnel and Insecticon Kickback. And each uh, Insecticon does hold their accessories and does have accessory storage. So I definitely like that. I like how all three look together. They're definitely a team, so they should look like they are a team. They definitely look good, in my opinion, and I am thoroughly satisfied with the way these Insecticons came out and especially how Bombshell turned out. And continuing the comparison, here I've already incorporated Starscream in the middle of the Seekers just to show you the deluxe size of the Insecticons compared to a Voyager size Seeker. And the Seeker definitely looks good compared to an Insecticon, but I would prefer it a little bigger than these Insecticons. But all in all, let's compare them like this. Here we have Starscream standing up. And then here we have the Insecticon. So as you see right here, um, that is pretty much what we get um, as a Voyager and as a Deluxe. And like I said, I'm actually satisfied because the Decepticons are smaller uh, Decepticons out of all the Decepticons in the rank that they have given by Megatron. And here is for my final comparison. Here I have the Titans Returns and the Power of the Primes and the Transformers Thriller 30 Insecticons with the now uh, Transformers Legacy Insecticons. And as you see right here, the smaller Insecticons are nice, but they don't compare to the new updated versions. So let me just show off the side-by-side -side comparisons of both of each character. So here we have right here the two bombshells. And as you see right here, the older bombshell is now obsolete. But if you choose, you can use that as like an Insecticon army maybe. But as you see right there, both of those figures... The best one is going to be the newer version, and I highly recommend you guys picking them up. So here we go, just to continue with that, with the other Insecticons. And here you have with Scrapnel, and then the previous release of the Scrapnel. So yes, as you see guys, the newer versions are definitely the better one. So if you have those or want to get the best one, definitely go out and get the newer Legacy Evolution and Legacy uh, Insecticons. So now we have reached the portion of my review where I like to talk about the Yeah Bro figure grading system and basically let you know if this is going to be a pickup or a pass. And in addition to that, I like to share my opinions and thoughts on this purchase that I've made, hopefully to shed some light and give you an informed opinion on whether if you want to add it to your collection or pass on it ultimately is your decision. So to be honest, guys, for me, this is going to be a pickup because for one, it completes the Insecticon trio and Hasbro has done an excellent job of keeping all of the trio of the Insecticons the same color, paint, palette scheme. Not only that, it is definitely good. It shares some uh, transformation elements from Scrapnel, but it is its own unique character. And I think Bombshell was done very well. The transformation is simple but satisfying. The paint details are spot on, accurate to the cartoon, and what we want in an Insecticon. In addition to that, the playability on this figure has a tremendous amount of value and I appreciate it because it's outstanding because you get to play with your figure in a bug mode or if you would like, you can transform him into its robot mode. Either way, in both modes, it has a ton of playability but has more articulation in robot mode than in Insecticon mode. 
So yes, with all that being said, this is definitely a pickup in my book. So if you're interested in picking up a copy of this figure, I got my copy from GameStop.com where I pre-ordered this figure. And once it came in stock, it shipped to me within a few days. I ended up ultimately paying $24.99 plus taxes. And I definitely think this figure is worth it. And definitely if you would like to pick it up, the link will be posted below if you would like to find it there. But if you would like to buy it elsewhere, you have to search on the web for other online various retailers. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. By doing these four actions, it shows my channel a tremendous amount of support. And not only that, positive feedback to continue to help my channel grow. And it communicates with me as a creator of this content. Thank you once again for spending your time watching my video. And until next time, yeah, bro, I'll see you soon. And don't forget, guys, to turn on your notification bell so you will be informed when I have posted a video and you'll be able to enjoy the content and get a notification that something has been posted.